The 11 visually impaired children from regions 4, 10, and 2 received 12 high-performance HP laptops during a simple ceremony at the Council's headquarters at Hyde Street, Georgetown. Project Coordinator of the Guyana Council of Organizations for Persons with Disabilities, Garnish Singh, who is also visually impaired, said that the organization always recognized the need to equip the children, but could not afford it. We are hoping that with this, the children can have a, a, a much better opportunity for a meaningful education because I can you know, explain to you how important a computer is to someone who's blind because I'm totally blind. And I was able to graduate from the University of Guyana with a diploma, a bachelor's degree and a master's, and even a postgraduate degree, diploma, sorry, using the computer equipped with the JAWS software. So without that computer, I would be lost, even with the work I do on a daily basis. Laptops were donated by companies including Edward B. B. Harry, R. Sukrach Cambio, and the Hand in Hand Insurance Company. The donation project was a brainchild of visually impaired senior volunteer Rajasree Singh and was made possible through her work in reaching out to donors. Manisha Singh, who is the daughter of Rajasree, addressed the children on her mother's behalf. She really threw herself into raising all of these laptops for all of the students here today and those that are not. She would like you to know that she can truly empathize with each and every one of you because she herself is legally blind and technology has really helped her in her everyday life and she wants to give this opportunity to all of you. So before I continue, I just want to say on behalf of her, thank you to each and every one that has contributed in some way to helping raise these laptops for everyone. The laptops will be equipped with genuine top-of-the-line software designed to specifically eliminate key disadvantages faced by visually impaired students while learning or executing everyday tasks. Nigel Collymore, Newsroom.